Hi you folks, Gord Pizer here and talk about inventing a better mousetrap, building a better mousetrap. That's what I want to talk about today. You know, I'm out here with my grandson Liam and we're ice fishing on Lake of the Woods. We've been ice fishing here now for about three weeks. And in Canada, and in fact most of North America, you're allowed at least two lines anytime that you're fishing. What we like to do when we're ice fishing is actively jig one rod or one hole and then have a tip-up set in the second hole. Now there's all kinds of tip-ups. What, what I've got here is a really neat new one, very, very innovative. And what it's called is a jaw jacker. And the reason it's called a jaw jacker, it actually assists you in setting the hook. Now, the way I like to think about this is exactly the same as when you're downrigger fishing in open water and you put your downrigger rod uh, down towards the water and it's attached to the cable and a fish hits and the rod springs back up. This is even a better setup because you don't have a lot of line going back behind the boat. Your line's going straight down the hole. So we're going to demonstrate and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set this up and how neat it is and then I think you'll get a good idea. First of all, first thing you're going to notice, how compact it is. You can put five, six, seven of these in a bag, throw them in the back of the toboggan, and you're set to go. When you get to the spot and you're going to set your, your jaw jacker up, simply pull these pins. Uh, there's two pins on it. Now, the first thing you do is slide the nose forward. And you, you'll see a number of adjustments here, and the adjustments are based on your rod length. So when the, when the end of the tip up is over, over your hole, you, your rod is perfectly positioned. And you can adjust that depending on your rod length. So I'll, I'll stick this in. There we go. <clears throat> stick it in. And then the second thing you do is just simply pull out these arms. And as you pull out the arm, the other thing you'll notice, they've got neat pins on the end here. Actually, this year we don't have a lot of snow on Lake of the Woods, which is ideal because all of a sudden these pins, I can dig them into the ice, I can dig them into the crust, and they really hold well. Now, you take your rod, and, and I'll, I'll actually, again, you can set this second pin in here. And by setting the second pin in, it adjusts the height of your rod. So if you want, if I want my rod higher, if I've got a longer rod, uh, I can set it, customize it by any one of those three pin, pin settings. Now, I'll take the rod and I put it in. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Liam demonstrate how simple this is and I'll talk over what he's doing. You simply, at the end of your rod here, hold on one sec, at the very end of your rod there's two little uh, loops. Uh, little, uh, this one's fluorescent orange, there's another one lime. If you lose them, you simply take a little bit of uh, braided line, make a loop. Every bit is simple and it works just as well. It's permanently attached to the end of your rod. Now, take that and you take that loop and there's actually a, almost like a trigger mechanism at the very end here. And Liam's going to put that uh, loop into the trigger mechanism, then lift up the uh, top of the line here and then put the line through the eye, if you will, and down to the bottom. And now the trap is set. A fish comes, and this isn't just a signaling device. Watch what happens when a fish barely touches the line. It sets the hook. You come running in. Uh, much better than just a signaling device. It actually does set the hook. I've been playing with this for the last three weeks or so. It's been absolutely ideal. Now, a couple of other real quick uh, points. I'm using, this happens to be a Cabela's uh, uh, Fish Eagle 50. It happens to be a 28-inch ice rod. I like the 28, 30, 32. I think they're the best lengths. Um, this also is a medium action. Uh, there's medium heavy. I would stick with the medium and medium heavy even if I was fishing for crappies because when you do that you use that slightly heavier rod and then that medium or medium heavy it allows you to really pull down get tremendous tension so even though you may set the end of this very very loosely it's like a drag affair so I may set it loosely for perch or crappies the fact that I'm using a, a medium or a medium heavy action rod under tremendous pressure <clears throat> sets the hook game on and a much better mousetrap.